Okay, I'm at the course working. Got the sled out, got the trailer going, got the that old Betsy working. Rolling 750. So I got a little bit of work to do. I figured I'd try to take advantage of this quick opportunity to show the Bolins working out here. It's been working its butt off all day. It's like two o'clock. I think I've been here since eight something. It's been running really good. Uh, Clean up all the piles everywhere. Pulled everything to the street. I don't know if you can see it. I got big piles up there on the street. Up on the curb over there. Pulled all the vines out of one through six. I got a lot of hard work done this morning. So I'm gonna go, let's go take a ride. We got a bad belt on here, so we'll see how she runs. I have to nurse this belt drive on here. I've been working it so hard this morning. I'm going to take it easy on the belt. We'll take a nice casual ride, but we'll get some work done. we got a job over here. A pulling job. That we got to do on the hillside. So we'll get over the whole six. We've got a big vine. It's all one piece, but uh, we got a big vine, we got to pull up the hill, pull up to the piles. I couldn't get it from down below because there's a bee's nest down there right now. We're just cruising. We're going down to the edge of the hill there. Got a strap waiting over there to hook up and then we gotta pull it up the hill all the way to the curb. So we'll take a short ride on the bowling. Got a branch there that I missed. Okay. So we're right on the edge here of this drop off. And we're gonna hook up this strap I got moving already. Start out in first gear, then up this hill, which is actually on this particular tractor. It's actually like a fourth gear because it's a it's in high range for the drive, and then it's in first gear, so it's like the fourth gear. I think it'll be like two miles an hour. I think it's the right number on the full speed, but basically I got a long strap hooked up to a, some ivy down there, which is going to pull it. It's not going to be pretty. I definitely got a belt cut. That was good news. I've got enough belt left to pull this. That's good. So I just pulled this up the hill. This is all one big, big, long vine that was covering four small bushes. And I'm gonna see if I can grab a little bit more right now while I'm here. I don't think I can, but I'm gonna see if I can. I got a little bit more up here. Yeah, that's too, too far to reach out. I'll get a pole on it, but this whole corner here, I got all cleaned up on six that needed it terribly. 
So I've got this vine here, it's probably 50 feet long. And I'm gonna pull it up to the curb, but I gotta get around this corner first. Gotta help out the tractor a little bit. strawberries here going on here too. Little bitty ones, wild strawberries. All kinds of good stuff growing out here right now. So we're gonna unstrap this, leave it to its own demise. Oh boy, oh boy, I gotta unstrap it up here. I forgot about how I tied this up. I cinched it. Pin. 
yeah, I have to cinch these things because I actually use this strapping or webbing, whatever you want to call it, to pull it out of the tree with the tractor. Some of this stuff is, it's pretty interesting. So you get one vine and it spreads to do two vines and then that spreads to two vines and then that spreads to two vines. And at the end, there's 16 little vines holding on almost exactly like a parachute where a whole bunch of small lines have a load on them and spreads the load really well, but they're extremely hard to get out of the tree that they're grabbing onto because they lock in really tight. They wrap around. You can see these little squirrelies. They wrap around stuff and it's like they tie a knot. It's so crazy. Tie a natural knot. We'll see what I drop my pin and everything over here. We're good there. We'll head back down to the pavilion and get ready for the next load. Oops. Oh boy. Okay, so uh, the next load I'm going to be doing with the strapping. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to be going to. But I'll just show we're looking up the sled. I don't need to show me pulling some crap out, but I've got a couple more holes with piles of crap on it and big ones. So, I think there's six more huge vines that are all connected together. It's like one big vine of grapes that just covers across 50 feet, across several tree tops. And once you start pulling one out, uh, it starts revealing another one, and then another one, and then another one. So, you just have to look for the end. And keep hoping that you finally get there, but uh, I'm just, uh, this morning I already pulled this stuff out, this, uh, this afternoon I'm actually just picking up the piles. We are getting ready to start a leak tomorrow, not us personally, but there's a leak starting tomorrow. And I will definitely be ready for that. So we're back at the sled. Throw it in neutral. Idle down, step off. Try to get rid of some of this stuff here that I don't need. So, I don't think I'm going to need the chains of that, but I'll take it with me anyway, just in case. So all I'm really getting ready to do now is go pick up another bunch of grapevines that look just like the one I pulled and I've already got them in a pile so there's nothing really exciting going on after this I'm just using the tractor to pull the sled around picking up piles down two through five two through four and then I'll be finished, then I can head out. Alright, I'm out.